Okay, so we're headed over to the National Museum of Korea today and uh, afterwards we're gonna try to make our way over to the Korean War Memorial Museum. Hey guys, Live Travel Asia again. Thanks for checking out our vlog. First, I wanted to explain how you can get to the National Museum of Korea. The National Museum of Korea in Yongsan, not to be confused with the National Folk Museum of Korea next to Gyeongbokgung Palace, is located next to Ichon Station where line number 4 and the Gyeonggi line intersect. The subway is directly connected to the museum and you can follow the English signage to the National Museum of Korea. So they are pretty much blocking the walkway. Alright, we're finally at the National Museum of Korea, and if the website is correct, it's free. So, traveling and going to all the sites here in Korea has been quite cheap so far. Especially because you can take as many buses and trains as you want, but they only charge you a flat sort of fee of a dollar or two dollars because any additional transfers don't count as an extra fare here if you buy like the carts to go in and off everywhere that you're going so they have a crate transfer system and uh, we've been maybe spending a total of 20 30 dollars for all the traveling we've been doing okay guys so i'll get right to the point is it worth visiting the national museum of korea well, it gets over 3 million visitors annually, ranks as one of the world's most visited museums, and the most visited in Korea. So it's definitely a significant attraction that you should consider when you visit Korea. However, that being said, if you're visiting Korea for only a week or so, dedicating half a day to a full day to this enormous museum is a big commitment. So I think you should ultimately decide for yourself if a visit is worthwhile. As for our honest personal opinion however, this museum wasn't particularly our cup of tea. Don't get us wrong, it's a very nice museum. Great actually. Maybe too great. It's three giant floors of countless artifacts and explanations. To truly do this place justice, I recommend you come with your thinking cap on, ready to read all the explanations and watch the videos putting the endless amount of prehistoric spearheads and pottery into the context of Korean history. There is honestly a history book's worth of information presented in just the first floor alone, so if that's what you're after, this will be an amazing experience. But if you just wanted a quick overview of Korean history and culture, I recommend you simply drop by the National Folk Museum of Korea located next to Gyeongbokgung Palace or the War Memorial Museum of Korea which we will feature in our upcoming vlog. Reason being is that these other two museums contain more interactive elements, life-size exhibits, recreations of battles, and cleverly laid out timelines which in my opinion did a better job of helping us learn more about Korea's war-torn history. However, as previously stated, you really have to decide for yourself if this museum is worth the day's commitment, so I'll leave you with all the raw footage of the museum which you can review and decide for yourself.
All right, finished the whole bottom floor, the history of Korea from like medieval ages to the Japanese occupation. So we're gonna head up.
Ir pon. These are worth now. All right, so um, the Japanese stuff was quite cool. I feel worse for saying this because I said the Korean stuff is pretty boring. But I love samurais, you know. <laughs> but in the defense of Korea, the only reason it's not interesting is because the darn Japanese came and destroyed all our artifacts. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, I'll finally get to go eat something <laughs> while I ponder about how I am going to try to make this vlog interesting. <laughs> So what did you think about the National Museum? Would you spend a day here? We'd love to hear what you think in the comments below and check back next week for our favorite museum in Korea, the War Memorial Museum. So actually today is Children's Day and that's why we have decided to go to museums to avoid going to places that will require us to take selfies because everywhere is going to be packed full of children and families going out on their holiday. Okay, we're now finally headed to the Korean War Memorial Museum. Our whole museum hunting started because one of our American buddies recommended that we go there, that it was super interesting. So I have high hopes. So we really hope you found this vlog helpful and hope to see you guys subscribe to our channel and check back with us next week for more vlogs from Asia. And until then, stay awesome guys. <laughs>